Hey guys, I'm Abby. Lorianne's my dog, and the one that you hear tippity tapping around is Elle. Today, I have another haul. I know, I know. The day that this video is uploaded, I am going to be in America, so I had to stock up on videos, and hauls were the easiest, and hauls were kind of what I had piled up. So, hope you understand, and hope you enjoy. In my previous, I think it was my Tokyo Disney haul, it was a character haul of some sort, I showed the other memos, in this set and said that I could not get Gudetama. But guess what guys? I found it. So I got this at Kitty Land in Odaiba at Venus Fort and they just happened to have it. So I grabbed it up. I think this memo set is adorable. So this is a Groton Tamago Groton Egg Groton, which is appropriate for Gudetama because he's a lazy egg. But here it is and says, do not microwave and do not cook over fire. It's just a simple memo, but I really love food being stationary. I have two slightly random summary empty washi tapes, and I'm not 100% sure when these came out, but I do not own them. Here's a watermelon one, and here is a water balloon, or yo-yo, we call them here and you'll see them at summer festivals. I grabbed these when I was in Odaiba. Another thing I grabbed while I was there was this Donald Duck washi tape. Now, I actually pass up a lot of Donald Duck merch because he's either paired with his nephews or Chip and Dale, which is not bad and I get why they do it, but I like Donald and Donald only. Like Donald and Daisy is okay because you know, they're a couple and it's a, they're a pair. For the most part, I like Donald only merch, but I did get this washi tape because it is blue, first of all, and I just thought that the art on it was really cute. I have a few more Disney items. I made an order from Disney Store Japan and I made a mistake. I thought these were just clear stickers. They are epoxy stickers, so they're the 3D plasticky ones, which I'm not the hugest fan of. I don't like putting them in letters or in my journal. I will use them for something. And look at this little pouch, isn't this cute? A little zippy pouch. They may not have been exactly what I was expecting to get, but they are adorable. So they are Ufufi themed stickers. It's a very tropical summery theme. This one is too, actually. Are we getting ahead of ourselves here? It's still spring here, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna have to find a cute craft to make with these, maybe a phone case. This one I got because it was Donald, of course, but remember what I said? He's with Chip and Dale. Actually, the nephews are on here too. It's epoxy, but it's super soft. It's like gummy resin almost. And it's not too bulky, so I could use it in my journal and stuff. These would actually be really cute to decorate a notebook with. Look at Donald and his pineapple. See, here are the nephews, and they're cute, but I don't know. I know, I keep coming back to that, I need to stop. Oh, look at here's Dale and a watermelon. Okay, that is pretty cute. Anyway, let me know what you would do with these stickers. I also ordered some of the new Ufufi eraser blind bags. If you've been watching my Magical Blind Box series, you probably know that I am slightly obsessed with eraser blind bags right now. One, because they're cheap, and two, because they are super cute, and three, because they're scented usually. I don't know if these are actually. So I got five of these. Two of these are for my friend and I think I'm gonna put two in the magical blind box and why don't we open one now? Because why not? I never really got into the whole Ufufi trend. Simsims were kind of my thing and then I kind of stopped collecting just because I had so many. And then Ufufis came out, they were cute, they were soft, they were scented, but I just couldn't start a new collection. But I do love you a good blind bag, so when I saw these, I had to get them. Now, I already pulled this out, but they are little kind of like boba cups. I don't know what kind of cup, like a domed Starbucks cup. And it doesn't really show a lineup. Looks like I got Donald and Daisy. That's super lucky for my first draw. Does the lid come off? Oh, the bottom comes out and it is a little stripey eraser. It's not super soft, so I think you could use it just like this. You don't need to take it out or anything. Actually, I think it, it's wedged in there pretty well, so it shouldn't fall out when you're using it. And it's adorable. To be honest, I probably won't use it as a eraser. I'll probably put this on my Disney shelf. Continuing on, I have some washi tapes. I think it was my previous Tokyo Disney haul. I showed a few washi tapes that I got at the Rilakkuma store, and then I saw online that they had some other characters too. So I went ahead and ordered them. I used to be a huge fan of Sentimental Circus. I still love Sentimental Circus. I just haven't really been seeing as much merch 
come out recently. Looks like we have Chapeau and I can't remember the other one's name. I feel like I should know this. But anyway, I'm gonna swatch all of these later. Next one here is Jinbei san, and Jinbei san's a whale shark. And there's this little friend, I don't know his name, he's a little whale. I actually don't even know if Jinbei san is a he. And now we get into the Sumiko Gurashi stuff. I got the cutting masking tape, which is little strips of different designs. Six different designs, I think, on one tape. Thought that was a really cool idea. Looks like we have a little coffee series. This one's like a blue tinted one. Actually, this one's the coffee one. I don't know. This is just them. And the little flower series or the cat series, I think. I think this is the newest one that's out right now. It's really cute. And then finally, I found a Sumiko Gurashi sticker gacha. And I'm assuming these are doubles because they're in the same envelope, but it was a 200 yen? It was a, yeah, it was a 200 yen gotcha. They come in a cute little envelope, which I can definitely reuse in my little stationary swap packets. They come with these huge die cut stickers, and this obviously is from the Bento series. It's so cute, I haven't looked at these yet. We're both seeing them for the first time. They're having a little picnic lunch here. Here is the Sumiko Gurashi house. You can see all the different rooms. And there they are lounging in the house. Here they are making onigiri or eating onigiri, I don't know. And here they are in the bath. These are all so cute. So it says there are 32 different stickers and eight different envelopes. So I'm assuming I'm missing three. Next one is from the cat series, I'm assuming. Here we have the square one. I guess they all come with a square one. Oh, this is the Tokage themed one. They're all Tokage in a little cat plush. Wait, this is so cute. Here is the one that I got doubles of. Kappa, not Kappa, penguin, question mark. Who apparently is a Kappa that lost his plate, his little hat. I don't know guys, Sumiko Gurashi has some crazy background stories. And here is his little bento box. Last one, we will peek in the doubles to make sure that they are in fact doubles. But here is another cat themed one. And oh, look at them all rolling around. Here's the double one, let's peek real quick. Yeah, it's exactly the same. And this one is penguin. I didn't get the full set, but I did get quite the assortment of Sumiko Gurashi stickers. I hope they do this with other characters as well. Anyway, I'm gonna go swatch my washi. I am back, I got my washi tape all swatched. Here's the Donald one, and it is super cute. It looks like it's kind of an Instagram theme. There are photos and Chippendale liking the photo, and it got cut off here, but it is Chippendale sitting on a Donald butt. It's very, very cute. And then here is the water balloon one and water melon one. Very vibrant and pretty. MTEX tapes are always really nice. Moving on to the next page, we have Chapeau, the Sentimental Circus one, and Jinbei san one. Very vibrant, very pretty. And then we have the Sumiko Gurashi cutting tape, what was it called? The perforated ones. And then the four other Sumiko Gurashi ones. Can I just take a moment to say how nice these washi tapes are? Each roll comes with 12 meters of tape, which is a lot, especially for character tape, I feel like. And the colors are really pretty, and the paper quality, it isn't as textured as some washi tape, but it's not plasticky tape, it's a really nice paper tape. So, definitely worth your money. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I'm just very enthusiastic about washi tape. So, anyway, that was my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and... I know I've been having a lot of hauls lately, but I've also been uploading some Magical Blind Box videos, so I hope you'll check those out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!